browser. In here, right click create a new folder. Name it dissolve and open it. And again here, uh, drag and drop this uh, two textures. Uh, one is uh, alpha texture and another one is smoke. In here, right click create and material. Name it and open it. In here, in blend mode, take translucency. In shading model, take unblend. Now open content browser. Drag and drop this two textures. In here, take three multiplies. Now connect this multiply to here and connect this texture sample to here and this here. Here right click take a particle color. Connect this RGB to this multiply and connect this A to here. Here take an add and then multiply and in here right click take a texture coordinate in here connect this to add and connect this multiply to add and connect this add to this texture sample this is the fire flame animation now in here take and add, connect this to multiply and connect this texture to add. In here take and dynamic parameter and connect this to add. And dynamic parameter name is dissolve. Take and panner. Connect this to here and panel value is 0.4. Now connect this multiply to the texture sample and connect this to emissive color and this to opacity. Here now we multiply uh, take 0 0.01. Uh, or uh, here take uh, 0 0.02 Yes, you can see the flame animation Now apply And open content browser Right click Create a Niagara Take empty Name it NS Dissolve Open it in here in sprite render apply the dissolve material now in emitter update add a bond burst instantaneous in here take look on this fix issue now in initialize particle right except to take one in sprite size mode take 10 or 500 and adjust the size and again in particle update add a dynamic material parameter in here click on the arrow float from curve and adjust the dynamic parameter values uh, like this In particle update, add color. In here, 
adjust the colors to your scene environment. Now, in particle spawn, add velocity. And here, click on this fix issue. Oh, now delete this here. And again, uh, click on this here. Now, in particle update, add drag. Okay. Save. Uh, now, select this. Uh, System state in here take infinity save and go to third person map. This all the effect is ready. And thank you for watching CD Gaming Channel. Don't forget to subscribe it.